Let's learn how to convert a quadratic function from standard to vertex form. For example, let's convert this function here, f of x equal x squared plus 2x minus 2, to the vertex form, f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, and then we'll give the vertex of its graph. Now our function here is written in standard form, and in order to convert a quadratic function written in standard form into this vertex form here, we complete the square. So we're starting with f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 2. And then the first step in completing the square is to make sure that the coefficient of the square term is 1, which it is here. And then we take 1 half the coefficient of x, which in our case is 2. This gives us 1. And then we square this. So we have 1 squared is equal to 1. And then we add and subtract this number. That is, we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1, and then we still have the minus 2. Now these first three terms will combine to give us a perfect square, namely x plus 1 squared. And then we have minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3. And so we've written our function in vertex form. And when we write a quadratic function in this vertex form, then h, k is the vertex of its graph. Looking here, we have x plus 1, which we can think of as x minus a negative 1. Therefore, our h is equal to negative 1, and our k is equal to negative 3. So the vertex, then, is the point negative 1, negative 3. Let's see another example. Let f of x equal negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 11. Again, we're going to convert this to vertex form and then give the vertex of its graph. Again, we'll begin in the same way by completing the square. So we have f of x is equal to negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 11. But now we notice that the coefficient of the square term is not equal to 1. And when completing the square, what we need to do then in this case is factor that number out of both of these 2x terms here. That is, we have f of x is equal to negative 3 times x squared and then minus 4x because negative 3 times negative 4x is positive 12x. And then let's leave a little bit of room here. And then we still have the minus 11. And then we take 1 half the coefficient of x, which is negative 4, which gives us negative 2. And then we square this. So negative 2 squared, which is 4, And then we add and subtract that number within the parentheses here. So plus 4, minus 4. Again, these first three terms here will form a perfect square. However, we need to get this negative 4 out of the parentheses here. But in order to do that, we need to multiply it by this negative 3. That is, we have the following. 
f of x is equal to, we have negative 3 times the first three terms, and then plus negative 3 times negative 4. And then we still have the minus 11. That is, we just distribute the negative 3 to the first three terms and then the last term. All right, and this gives us that f of x is equal to negative 3 times the quantity x minus 2 squared. And then we have positive 12 minus 11 is positive 1. And our equation now is in vertex form. And again, comparing it to this form, we see that h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1. Which means our vertex is at 2, 1. All right, this is how we convert a quadratic function from standard form to vertex form. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.